What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the set of Switched at Birth. I'm so excited to be hanging out with Katie LeClaire. This is so fun. I've never been on your set before. And it is a fun set. I say that we have the Taj Mahal of, of sets, the driveway, kitchen, Kenish house combo. I mean, it is the coolest set I've ever been to. Well, I was thinking about the Kenish house is so huge. It's Just on huge. the show, the way that it's portrayed. And I was imagining, how are they going to fit it all into a... A studio, essentially. This is the Kenish bedroom, by the way. Mm -hmm. John and Catherine's bedroom. But um, we have the like the greatest set designers ever, and they work super, super hard at it. And even the the Carlton School, um, we have an inside of the school now, and the set is beautiful. It's super cool. Pretty similar to the Make It or Break It School, as it turns out. <laughs> That's <laughs> odd because this is actually the former Make It or Break It set. It's true. Yeah. Mm, the secrets that you learn <laughs> when walking around out here. So excited that season two is finally premiering. Yay! How are you feeling about season two happening? I'm super excited. <laughs> um, I think they wrapped up season one, the epic season one, mm -hmm. uh, really, really well. And they set up for season two incredibly well with Angelo and his millions. And, um, you know. A baby, maybe. A baby. Who knew? Angelo was such a floozy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, have you seen him? I mean, my gosh. No woman is is able to resist. <laughs> no, I can't blame them. Not at all. So, you know, there there was definitely a lot of drama at the end of season one and a lot of unanswered questions. Um, what are you looking forward to fans seeing in season two from Daphne? Well, Daphne, I think, uh, sort of lost herself in, in Mr. Justin Bruning yes. and and Chef Jeff was he was a great character and Daphne learned a ton from that experience mm -hmm. but um, she I'm looking forward to fancying Daphne and get her independence back mm -hmm. she gets a food truck she is still in the culinary field and still in the culinary world but able to do it on her own and with the support of you know her parents and family and all of that but and I love the new haircut was this as a result of the breakup on the show because <laughs> you know when you have a breakup you always like cut and Shut dye your off. hair it just makes you feel better it could be yeah let's go with that <laughs> and I love the food truck idea I think that's so great so trendy here in LA they're all over the place and they have the best food. What kind of food is Daphne's food truck going to be featuring? Well, it's really, really funny, actually, because my parents own a Chinese right. restaurant in San Antonio called Firewalk, and all of you should go. And you've worked there. And I have worked at Firewalk, mm -hmm. and I'm actually going to be working there again on the 27th. We're having like a meet and greet with oh, my cool. family at the restaurant. Um, and so it was really funny because we were pulling, like I wanted it to be a Chinese truck uh -huh. because it was, you know, be yeah. close to my family, but my parents just bought a truck and they wanted it to, to be a waffle truck. So it starts off as a waffle truck and it ends up being a taco truck, but you it's know, a waffle taco, basically. Of, yeah, absolutely. So what about the love interests for Daphne? What's going to be happening? Because there are so many love triangles. They could just merge and be like a circle at this point. What are we going to see <laughs> in season two? Circle. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's happy in the love circle. <laughs> um, Daphne, Daphne's gonna be independent for a little bit. Okay. But um, in this breakup, she finds a great friendship with Travis, and um, they. He support obviously each other. does like her, by the way, right? Yeah, he's he's got feelings. Yeah, he he's does. he's got some crushing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he does. But um, but Daphne not so much at, at, the, at the beginning. You know, she I think she knows that he's got a crush, yeah. but. Uh, she she really just needs a friendship at the beginning, and she 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 finds that in him, and they sort of blow up at each other. There's some fireworks and in, in their friendship, and um, you know they reconcile, and I think they're I think they're going to be a long lasting pair. I love that because he's such a sweet guy. He is in real a sweet life guy too. Yeah, he's he's the deaf Matt Damon. He is pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie. He's adorable. <laughs> yeah, I also just met one of your new additions to the cast, who's gonna be playing a character named Noah that I hear Daphne is going to have some sort of bond with over a secret. Mm -hmm. What's it been like playing that out? It's been great. Um, Max is a sweetheart. He's a doll, and his eyes melt my heart. True. <gasps> oh, they're so good. And um, he's he's been great to have on set. He's you know I think we, the the best part of working on Switched at Birth is the cast members and the crew and how much we all get along as a cohesive unit mm -hmm. and we just giggle all day and yeah. it's the best. Yeah, no, it's it's so true, really. And I was talking with Vanessa and she said she celebrated three birthdays. Mm -hmm. on the show, which is incredible to think about. How has your life changed as a result of having all of these people in your life for the past 
almost, you know, three years, I guess. It's totally surreal. I, I never thought I would be friends with Leah Thompson and Marley Matlin and D.W. Moffat, who I hated so much on Friday Night Lives, but I love know. to hate, you know? And, yeah. and these people that are so talented, and I, idolized Lucas like I the funny story before before the audition for switched how I listened to one of Lucas's songs is just it just goes to show that like it was meant to be and, exactly and everything happens for a reason I think so oh, I'm amazing. glad to be here so and I know that you know we've discussed this before and I just feel like I continue to learn from the show all the time do you feel like you're constantly learning lessons from you know what you read in the script absolutely um one of my favorite things about Switch to Birth is the ability to expose, you know, a large group of Americans to a culture that they otherwise might so not true. have ever seen. Um, and and I think that the writers definitely take pride in that, and they they are aware that they are teaching as well mm -hmm. as entertaining. So mm -hmm. um, I think it, it's good. It's good that everybody's yeah. aware of it. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for letting us come by and hang out on the set. It's yes. been so cool, and I'm dying to see what's going to happen season two. Tune in. Well, we won't have to <laughs> wait very long. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time right here on Clever TV. Bye, guys. Bye.